Hello and welcome to this video. I had the really random idea of painting my favourite Met Gala looks from 2022, so that's what I'm going to be doing. I've put together my top three and I was just planning on filling a sketchbook page with them. I've never painted any bodies before, so I thought this would be like a really interesting kind of idea to try. Um, I've also never painted like faces this small, so it was really interesting. Cause usually when I do portraits, it's like up to the shoulders. So to work this tiny, it was a really new experience for me. So in third place, I was drawing Billie Eilish in Gucci. And I did the initial sketch in my erasable color pencils, just so that if I made any mistakes, I can just kind of rub them out. Um, I'm kind of leaning more towards these than graphite, I must say, lately. I've used um, a lot of color pencils that don't rub out, and they've just been an absolute pain, really. Um, and it's just really messy. So I got some erasable color pencils and I, they work really well so far. I'm not too sure about with watercolor though. I do feel like it acts like a bit of a barrier, um, which you can kind of see here. So I'm just gonna keep trying them out. But yeah, so I did the initial sketch in color pencil. Now I'm going in with watercolor. I did a base layer, which was kind of wet on wet, kind of wet on dry. And then I just went in adding some details. I do think I definitely got more in the swing of it as time went on. For the first one, like I really like the hair. I must admit, I do love how the hair turned out. And I do think the first one is a slightly different style to the other two, but it was a really good intro one. And I love the lace on the sleeves as well. I think it was a really pretty dress and it actually really fits the theme. Um, I think this one probably fit the theme best to be honest, but it, it was third place for me I do think the other two are slightly better, but yeah, I love how the hair turned out in this one I really love that kind of loose style and I'm pretty I'm pretty happy with it I used fine liner for the lashes because I didn't trust myself with paint And I also used a bit of white gel pen to add some highlights and I think that really made everything just pop And then I also went over in color pencil over the watercolor just to kind of refine it so I lost some of the details with the watercolour, it just kind of blended together. So for the second place one, this is Olivia Rodrigo and she's wearing Versace. This dress and this look is just absolutely stunning. I think the dress is gorgeous and it really suited her and I love the little butterflies that were in her hair. But I don't think it fits the theme, but I do still think it's gorgeous so I really wanted to paint it. So again, I did the colour pencil sketch like this and then went in with watercolour. The sketch really didn't take long, it took me about five minutes, um, which I probably could have spent longer on it, but I didn't want to create like this really amazing finished piece because at the end of the day, it was just a sketchbook study. And I do think I have to kind of force myself when I work in a sketchbook to work a lot faster to just remember it's a sketchbook, it's different. It's not the same as a finished piece, I don't want to spend hours on it. Sometimes I love creating and I love painting and I love art, but you just some pieces aren't supposed to be like eight hours, you know? So the entire thing took maybe um, maybe two hours to do, maybe three. So it's about less than an hour each. So yeah, I went in with several layers of watercolour. I think this one I mostly did on wet on dry and um, again with the face I had to use quite a lot of colour pencil to try and get some detail in but it was a really gorgeous look and it was so lovely to paint so the issue I had I think the hair definitely looks different to the first one I couldn't make that same kind of loose style with the texture it just worked really well for a messy bun and I just couldn't recreate it with her kind of slick smooth hair so the hair probably doesn't look as good but I am pretty happy with the face and again I added white highlights with the gel pen the thing that I did struggle with as well is the dress I was just looking at it and I was just like I couldn't figure out why I couldn't do it justice and it's because the actual dress had like some kind of diamonds or something all over it and it was lovely and shimmery and it was like how do I recreate that on a piece of paper so I had this idea to use some metallic watercolors that I've got and you'll see in a second I got them out and I did like a really watery glaze and then I just did a loose glaze all over the dress and I don't think it's really gonna I don't think you're gonna be able to see it maybe at the end when it shines a little bit at certain angles but yeah I did a really loose glittery kind of glaze over it and it really worked well so I do think it's really good to just try out new things. 
In third place is Blake Lively in Versace. This is, well, I mean, Blake Lively has probably been my first place for like many years. All of her looks are on point. I don't think this comes anywhere near as close as the burgundy dress that she wore before, that kind of red gold dress that was stunning. And I do think this year, I think that the standard was just a lot lower for dresses. It was kind of hard to come up with my favourite dresses that were also matching the theme where in previous years I think there's just been some amazing looks and I could probably do like 10 quite easily just off the bat come up with my favourites so this dress it was really difficult to try and recreate because the colour was like a kind of ready bronze and with watercolour it just looked so flat I was trying to use like I think I used a red ochre mixed with a little bit of yellow and I was trying to get that bronze to come through but because it didn't have any kind of shine to it it just ended up looking quite flat so I don't think I really did this dress justice but I think you get the gist and you can kind of see what the dress was supposed to look like and it still looks pretty in my opinion I'm a little bit happier with the hair on this one you can see that the hair is kind of a combination of the way that I painted the hair in one and two it's kind of a little bit more covered than one but it's got a little bit more of the gaps and the texture a little bit more than what two had so i'm really happy with how the hair turned out and i do think the face kind of looks like blake lively i think probably the second one maybe looks closest to olivia rodrigo but again because i've never done body pieces like this before and i've never done faces that small i usually do like an a4 portrait of just an entire face it was really interesting to do and it was really difficult to paint so small and trying to actually do real people and make them look real i'm also like i hardly ever well i never paint celebrities i never paint people that are actually recognizable so it was really difficult to try and make them actually look recognizable but yeah i'm just adding the finishing touches here i added some highlights all over but these are my three favorite Met Gala looks for 2022. I hope you've enjoyed watching this and I hope that you maybe like the dresses that I picked, the looks that I picked and the way that I've painted them. Thank you so much for sticking around.